So, hello and welcome to Pascom's Moby Dick School. Um, today's video tutorial covers the topic of installing the Moby Dick. So, as you can see from my screen here, I have recently downloaded an uh, ISO uh, image from our website, and I going to and today I'm going to install that into a virtual machine. But it doesn't mean that uh, the Moby Dick can only be installed in virtual machines; it can also be installed in a server uh, environment as well. For the purposes of this demonstration, though. As I said, we're going to use a virtual machine. And for this demonstration, I'm using uh, VMware Fusion. But that, of course, is not the only VM uh, machine you can use. You can also use, for example, uh, VirtualBox, which is a cost-effective or even uh, free version of VM players that you can use to install the Moby Dick. OK, so here, under New, what I need to do is I need to select uh, my image file that I've downloaded. So we have here, install from disk or image, continue, and then I need to select that file from the download folder. So open and then continue. OK. As the Moby Dick is uh, Linux based, uh, the operating system that we need to select is Linux, and it uses the current uh, DBM, uh, Debian 6 64 bit uh, kernel um, for our particular download. Uh, if we were to download the 32 bit, then of course we'd have to use the option above here. But for today's, we're using the 64 bit. Continue, and it takes us to a finish screen. Here on this screen, we can uh, have an overview of the system requirements that we've uh, installed. And um, for example, here we have the capacity of 20 gigabytes. Now, if you're using a productive machine, uh, which is in a call center environment, for example, and requires lots of call recordings, of course, 20 gigabytes will not be enough. And so you'll have to customize that yourself. And that is also true for the 512 megabytes of memory. Uh, for a productive system, we recommend a gigabyte or more. OK. But for our purposes in this demo, that's more than enough. So we click Finish. And uh, we then got asked to save our operating system. And we're going to call it Moby Dick. OK, so save. Now, the installation starts automatically. And here, I've got the option of either pressing Enter or waiting for a few seconds, and it uh, installs straight away. But I've just pressed Enter, and it starts installing. OK. Now, for today's system, we want to be in English. So we select English, and then press OK. And then we accept the terms and conditions, uh, which can also be found on the website. Accept. Here, we need to select our hard disk. Uh, our hard disk for today's demonstration is called SDA. Um, so that's not a problem. We select that one, press Enter. And then here, it gives us a warning message as to whether we want to uh, delete all the information off the hard disk we've selected. There's nothing on there, so it's OK. And it starts installing and partitioning the hard disk uh, as the Moby Dick sees fit. For this particular setup, uh, we don't need to pay any particular attention to uh, how the installation is uh, or partitions the hard disk, because uh, that is done automatically by the Moby Dick as the Moby Dick sees fit. Uh, the only thing that is uh, of note there is that it will also install a LVM uh, tool, which you can then later use for taking snapshots for backups of the system at later points in time. Right, now that's finished, we have a few questions. Um, here, we have to uh, select which time zone we're in. I'm in Germany, so Berlin is not a problem. And now we have to enter a password. Uh, for this system, it's just a demo system. I'm going to use uh, the password 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then I have to repeat the password 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. OK, the password here that we set up has to be a minimum of eight characters. OK. Press Enter, and it takes us to our network configuration screen. Now here, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a static network IP address for the simple reason being is that at later points in time when I want to say, for example, add telephones or access through the web user interface, a static IP address is easier to use than a uh, IP address that changes continuously, like with a DHCP. So here, I'm going to use the IP address 192.168.100.1. And then I use the netmask. And we've also got a gateway set up for today's uh, demonstration. OK. So by pressing Enter, 
that restarts the system and all the uh, important and necessary tools that we require for operating the Moby Dick will be installed. That gives me a bit of time to show you a bit more information about the Moby Dick itself. So open up this PowerPoint here. And what we have here is a slimline system uh, or a high efficiency system, which is designed for smaller business environments. Or we can go over to an enterprise server designed for larger enterprise environments, uh, which contains, for example, redundancies and can be um, modified to include extra uh, or any extra um, component that you so require. On the next screen, uh, we have some information about the supported platforms. Um, as I mentioned, today we uh, installed in VMware Fusion. However, we can also support uh, VirtualBox, um, Hyper-V, and Zen. And by support, what I mean is um, it's been tested with the Moby Dick, so we know that it uh, functions, and it has all the tools that you require um, to operate the Moby Dick included and will be delivered with the actual uh, system as it's installing. Okay, and now we can move on to a bit more information about the appliance. And here, we can see that the Moby Dick appliance is a read-only system, and it works a little bit like a live disk, uh, in that it starts up and boots all the uh, components that we require uh, for operating Moby Dick, for example, Asterix or Apache. Um, and the benefit of this is that for the end user and admins, um, all the components are the same, regardless of which version you're using. Uh, so if, for example, you're using the current version, the 7.6, uh, or you're using a previous version like the 7.4, or even for the future, uh, the 7.8, um, you know exactly what version, uh, what components are coming and how they function with, another, with one another. The downside is that um, through this system, because it's read-only, every time the system restarts or shuts down and then you restart it, um, all the yeah, removable information like user uh, data and so on will be removed, which is why we have the hard disk overlay so that you do not have to add all this information again. Uh, it will be done automatically for you. Okay, so hopefully uh, the installation is finished now. So we go back to the uh, VM player and yes, we can see here that the installation is up and running and we can see our IP address. Now, important for me today is because we're using a demo network, I need to change my network settings a little bit. You probably won't have to, but I do. So here, we've set up a uh, demo network for our film studio. And I select that, close this window, and then if I go to my internet browser, and open the IP address that I set up previously. There it is. It takes me straight to the uh, web user interface, otherwise known as the Moby Dick Commander. Now, here, important information is the username is as default set to admin. And then here, we need to enter the password that we set up earlier. Now, I set up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now this password's not just for the commander, it's also for accessing the Moby Dick uh, via um, SSH script later on. Okay, now for today's purpose, we want to have an English in um, user interface, so I just uh, press on login, and there we go, we're into the system. Now, that's it for today's um, tutorial. So please uh, visit our website to find out further information regarding uh, the Moby Dick school and future video tutorials. Uh, also, please refer to our Wikipedia, um, wiki.pascom.net, uh, for further advanced information. Thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye.